How's it going, everybody? This is Chicago Stu reporting live from Vista, California. It's kind of the Southern California, San Diego, Oceanside-ish area, much more south of LA. We are at Open Source Maker Labs, where they make open source skateboards. So let's go inside and let's see what they got. Here he is, Bo Trefiro, making skateboards for making open skateboards. source skateboards. So over here, we've got 3D printing things. This is, this is an amazingly cool lab. Over here, we've got actual 3D printers that can, oh look, one's printing right now. You can make really cool stuff like that. I've got some pretty cool toy designs myself. And over here, we've got giant wood cutter. We've got metal stuff. This is all for metal stuff. You just put it in a computer. Here we have an engraver. As you can see, it is engraved. A very nice design on that. But you can engrave whatever you want. And over here, so much stuff in this lab. That's like some sort of you know, NASA project. You know, no big deal. Just designing something for NASA here in a little warehouse in San Diego. And over here we've got more metal stuff. So with these machines, it's possible to make skateboard trucks. That is really cool. I think that might be a project for the future. Skateboarding trucks. And we've got more metal stuff over here. All sorts of cool stuff in this lab. Oh, look. Looks like some skateboards were made here. Are these foam skateboards? These oh, no, those are, the, yeah, those, are the, those are the molds. These are the molds. And then those, those are the veneers, what actual skateboards are made from. Here's a... Uh, That's where it all starts. And that's a that's a mold. Yeah, this is this is the one I use for the boards I make for myself. Okay, like, sweet. So yeah, is that is that the eight? This is what what measurement is that? This is whatever width you want. Okay. Because you just you put the board on, you can cut out the shape afterwards. So it's a little bit mellower than the street park deck that you typically ride. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's about, about the same roughly. Different right. The same. Awesome. I am designing. A custom skateboard <laughs> through open source so right now the first thing is with I'm gonna go with a standard 8 since that's, that's my ideal board width wheelbase uh, tail length nose length overall length kick nose and kick tail angle and concave I don't even know what that number would be uh, <laughs> so the one that you ride right yeah, now to yeah. give you a baseline is 14 that's 14? Okay. Yeah. That, that works pretty well. I do like that. <laughs> okay. Now, is that a number that y you got from previous measurements or you eventually came up with? That one I did kind of just, I measured like my old board. Like when I first started making boards, I measured my old board's wheelbase and I think it was 14. And I never changed it because I just, okay. it just felt good. Tail and nose length, those are those are numbers I couldn't come up with off the top of my head. So this is what I want to try to figure out with building skateboards, is how to build the perfect skateboard. Yes. Is it possible? <laughs> we don't know, but uh, <laughs> keep trying. Okay, length. It is, length. Oh, I got it right here. Length is equal to the sum of nose length, tail length, wheelbase, and two bolt pattern lengths. Nose length. Calculator? Or you want to do it by hand? I'm gonna do this by hand. Yes, good, okay, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, I might need just that number. You got this, you got, the, you right, got right. this. Yeah, I thought you did separate, it all by hand, you committed. It's a separate problem. You already committed. Right. <laughs> when was the last time you did multiplication like this? Probably high school. Because <laughs> college, it was just a bunch of word problems and you use calculators. 4.250. A plus. Yes. Aha. Okay. So I have that number. 
Yeah. That's my length. <laughs> That's what I got too. All right. Awesome. It checks out. It checks out. It'd be really embarrassing if we were both wrong right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one has to know. No one has to know. What we're gonna do now is use skate CAD. Do I get to like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with it, like computer skate with the board, or does it just it just rotates the board? It just rotates it. I can't. Yeah, I don't have. I'm, I'm not. I can't do that yet. Next program. That, that'll next, be the next program. Next. Do you get to actually skate the deck? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> on on the computer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Virtually. You're gonna put in your numbers in here. Okay. I can do that. I've already done the work. 16.25 inches. All right. So that's my that is your concave, that's my concave radius. Radius. Update. And then we wait. Oh, and then the board is going to get made. And then it gets made. <laughs> oh, wow. I think it'll work. I'm keeping it. Awesome. We are now using the laser. Also, random, but do you notice how that Cat 6 cable box stole Birdhouse logo? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it came out. It came out. It's so, official. The gra that awesome graphic, and by that graphic, I mean that graphic. that graphic is in the laser. Let's send it. Alright, this will probably it's take in. about 30 minutes. Okay. So cool. we'll work on other parts of the board. So Stowe is Here. marking his mold. This is the distance to your bolt holes. Okay. okay. What we're marking next is going to be where the actual physical kick starts to bend. Okay. We don't want the kick to start to bend on your bolt holes no. because that would be bad. Like yes. the trucks would, yeah. So what we do is we go an inch and a half away from the bolt holes, which is about equal to like Paul Schmidt's thing about like having two fingers of flat between the bolt holes and when the board starts to curve up. A fresh off the press graphic. I'm really excited about this. How do we get this laser out of the way? Yeah, that's that's amazing. Got a little toothbrush? All right, let's, let's brush their teeth uh, here. Yeah, it's like a nice little... <laughs> so there it is. I'm so excited. More B-roll. I never like to focus on the smoke and mirrors. I like to focus more on the actual content. You got me in front of the camera making a mold for a skateboard. That's all you need. Editing and, you know, all that. That's, that's the smoke and mirrors that, that Hollywood teaches you about. It's really just covering up mistakes. Kind of like how condiments cover up bad tasting food. I don't eat condiments. The food is good. <laughs> Next step is going to be marking your kick tail okay. angles. All right. And we got to do some trigonometry. Trigonometry. Now that is a subject I did not study. So let's go ahead and get the 101 course. Wait, did you, you didn't take it in high school? I never took I only oh. went to Algebra 2 and then that was it. So you don't know about Sokotoa? I don't. <laughs> oh boy, this is this is this is a great opportunity. <laughs> I, I hope this doesn't uh, hinder the board. No, the this is this is going to. It's not going to hinder the process. It's going to enhance your life. Okay, great. Sokoto is a, a Native American that came up with trigonometry. Okay. Uh, no, that's not true. S is sine, and the O is opposite over hypotenuse. The C means cosine. Okay. And the A is adjacent over hypotenuse. T is for tangent. Do you want to guess what the O and the A are? The opposites. Yes. And adjacent. 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 Yes. So we know that our angle is 21 degrees. That is your kick that's, angle, right? That's what I want. The whole reason why we're doing this, by the way, is so we know how to draw this line yeah. without a protractor. Okay, so 21 tangent. How do you get X by itself? Multiply yeah. by 5.5. Exactly. Times 5.5. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 2.11. 
2.111. So that's really close that's, to 2.125. That's rush. But <laughs> you're gonna mark two and one eighth down from this line up here. So that's that's what that's what how the trigonometry is. This almost looks like a skateboard. Next so, math right. portion. Okay. This is gonna be the most intense math we do. Time to make the mold. Yeah! Yeah! Sweet! How many things have you made before? I've made Pinewood Derby cars. Okay. That's Boy Scouts. nice. I think it's uh Oh yeah. I'm really excited about this. Yes. Filing down the edges of the veneers so that we don't puncture holes in the tap bag by roll rocket. Next we're gonna do a dry run, put it in the bag. Alright, go ahead and slide it on in. Through the big the big board condom right here. <laughs> And then take this, this is the breather netting. And what this does, it creates air channels for the air to kind of flow out from all areas. 